Hello Oracle world and in this Oracle database video YouTube tutorial I am going to show you how to create a database trigger for an Oracle database which fires every time the Oracle database starts okay um, a database trigger is an event which you um, program in what's called named um, PLSQL blocks okay as opposed to anonymous PLSQL blocks and PLSQL code is executed in response to a certain event which occurred into in the Oracle database and one of the events that Oracle um, has has pre-set up for you that you could that you can uh, set up is database startup so basically we can set up a trigger that says every time an Oracle database starts up execute this code do this or do that and we're going to show you how to do that here okay so let's go ahead and let's set our Oracle SID to finance let's ensure we are set properly and let's log on to our database with the SQL plus program let's ensure we're connected with the sys user which we are and let's ensure we are connected to the correct database. Select name from v$data.base finance, which we are. Okay. First thing we want to do is let's create a table, and it doesn't have you don't have to it doesn't you don't have to create a table to do this. Okay. This is just what my example does. So we're going to create table, create a simple table called startup. Um, and we're going to make the first col column just be value. And we're going to give a character type of uh, variable character uh, 20 characters. Done. Okay. And if we describe the startup table, we will see just that one column. And if we select data or attempt to select data from the startup column, we will see that no rows are selected because no data is in it. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to create our trigger. So type in the following to create a trigger. Create or replace trigger and that's the command that you would use, the syntax you would use to create any type of trigger. And the trigger name we're going to call it startup trigger and now we're going to say after what event will fire this trigger. After startup on database okay so what I'm saying is create or replace the trigger startup underscore trigger after startup on database so after this, the database starts we're gonna execute this bit of code begin Oracle programming code and we're gonna say insert into which inserts values into a table into table startup values started I'm gonna commit it the record we're going to end our programming block and we're going to close this block off. And to learn more about um, PL, PLSQL programming, which is what this code is written in, go, this trigger is written in, uh, you can view my videos on PLSQL programming in an Oracle database. Okay, trigger created. If we do a select trigger underscore name from DBA triggers, okay, this is the uh, data dictionary view which which has a list of all the triggers defined in your Oracle database where trigger name is equal to startup underscore trigger and we get it re we get the value returned to us because it's there and of course if we select asterisk from startup we will see that it still doesn't have any data in that table okay so we create a replace we created a trigger called startup underscore trigger we said that the, this is a predefined um, event you can have your own events this is a predefined event okay that comes with Oracle after startup on database basically means that any code that comes that's in between the begin and the end okay gets executed every time the database starts up that's all this is saying everything between the begin and the end gets executed every time the database starts up that's what a trigger does so let's test that shut down your Oracle database with a shutdown immediate
let's start it back up. Okay, our database has been started back up. Now if we do a select asterisk from the startup table, we will see we now have a value started. And you'll notice up here, before I executed a shutdown command, we did a select asterisk from startup and there was no data in the startup table. But as soon, but, and I didn't do any inserts, you'll notice. But as soon as I did a shutdown and a startup, the trigger, the startup trigger fired and that code in the startup trigger is to insert this value into this table. So if we go ahead and we shut down our database one more time. And then start it up one more time. and we do a select asterisk from startup we will see that we have not one va not one row of data but two rows of data are now in this table startup okay so it did it again so that's how you create a trigger to be which will be fired every time an oracle database is started and this has many this is a great feature and um, i've written line pages and pages of plsql code for people to really really for some databases that really really need the database to be the data in the database to be massaged in a certain way or Oracle to be set up to do something in a certain way every time the database started okay it's really really a nifty feature and that's uh, basically how you how you use it in a very basic level okay thank you